Hello, I'm Sydney Tanaya, and I'm an applications engineer here at Tektronix. And today I'm going to be demonstrating for you a new TSP scripting utility that is currently in development that we are going to be calling the Keithley TSP Toolkit. This Visual Studio Code extension is meant to act as a full replacement for our current TSP scripting utility, the Keithley Test Script Builder. So first thing I'm going to do is walk you through this demo script I wrote, just so you have some context for what's going on in the demo. We start with a reset command. This is just to ensure that our instrument is in a known state. We declare our variables, and then we declare our functions. So the first function is this set smooth function that I wrote that essentially takes these three variables in as arguments and uses them to set the source function, the current limit, and the voltage level, and then prints out what those values are into the terminal. The next function is the toggle output function. All that does is take the state variable as an argument and uses it to toggle the output on and off. And then, of course, prints the state to the terminal. Following that is our main function. And the main function essentially calls the set smooth function to set our smooth to source five volts and then toggle the output on, followed by a short delay where the smooth is then set to output zero volts before turning the output off. In order to run the main function automatically, as soon as the script is sent to the instrument, we just call it right here. And then we have a print statement just to verify that the script has finished running. Now, in order to run the script, we're first going to need to connect to our instrument. So this little TSP toolkit icon in our toolbar on the left allows me to see all of my connected instruments that are on my network. And right now I want to use my 2450. So if I expand this 2450 here, I can see the IP address, the model, the port number, and the instrument serial number. Right clicking on it gives me options to do things such as upgrade my instrument firmware, open a terminal, rename this instrument string into something more sane, like perhaps if I have many 2450s in multiple different labs across my office building, I could say, my 2450 in lab number one, for example. And then I can also save this instrument so that it will appear here in my instrument menu, whether it's connected or online or offline or anything. But for now, I'm going to select open instrument IP, terminal IP so that I can connect and communicate to my instrument. Upon connection, a terminal will prompt will open up and will report what the current instrument you're connected to's ID string is. So this terminal down here works like any other command prompt where you can send instrument connect commands to the instrument directly, such as star IDN, and then get a response. If I wanted to send this whole script to the instrument, it would be as easy as right clicking on the editor window here and selecting send script to terminal. Now, as you can see, all of my print statements have printed to the terminal. So other features in the TSP toolkit include IntelliSense as well as command completion. So if I were to hover over one of my commands here, I get to see the help, anything that was in the, the manual for these instruments, I can see reported right here in my window. And if I want further command help, I can actually view the entire manual page for this TSP command right here in the editor. Other things, like I said earlier, there's also command completion. 
So if I started typing smoo.source dot, it will show me all of the possible things that could come after this source. So I do smoo.source dot function equals, and then it gives me the possible arguments for that function. Another thing I can do is because TSP scripts are run on the instrument and not the PC, if I were to comment out this call to the main function, save my script really quick, and then send it to the instrument again, you notice this time it prints the done statement, but hasn't actually run any of the main loop function. But that means that the script is now in the memory of my instrument, and I can simply call this main function or any of the functions in the loaded script whenever I like here in the command terminal. And with that, we conclude our demo of the TSP toolkit.